Imagine you want to build a JavaScript library or some really cool open source project and you know that your idea is so damn cool that people are going to contribute to your project and let's say at some point you got hundreds or thousands of contributions. Now uh, at that point you might get confused or you know frustrated because there are chance that most of those commit messages are unclear and it's really hard to understand what are their intention for example if i am developer of a repository what i would like to do instead is to define certain rules so that i can understand what that particular commit message is uh, explaining or what is the intention of that particular commit message and in order to do that we are going to use conventional commit message so as we proceed through this video what we are going to do we are going to learn what is the syntax for conventional commit message how i can create conventional commit message and in the end of this video we will see how we can automate that whole process by using a uh, github actions by using some sort of workflow so yeah let's move to very first segment and let's first understand what could be a better syntax for a uh, conventional commit message now this segment is important because uh, imagine you are uh, making some contribution to open source project. In that case, if uh, that project is using conventional commit messages, in that case you need to understand the type of header that been used in uh, those kind of commits. Conventional commit message is very simple, you know, it has just three uh, headers. So very first header is type type is used to specify the type of commit message for example uh, we added some new feature to the repository in that case we can use fit header and imagine uh, you resolve any type of bug in that case you can use bug type and imagine you made changes to let's say documentation code in that case we can use doc type and the second header which is scope is optional header most developer avoid this header but you know uh, you can also add this header as well inside the bracket we add scope scope is uh, optional header and it represents the type of files that been changed for example you uh, let's say you made some changes to login login.tsx imagine this is a file exist in the repository and you made some changes to this file then in the commit message you can specify this login.tsx uh, and finally we have this summary header it is used to uh, specify a brief message about the commit now let's see examples of that so we have these three example if you added let's say new feature for example you added login functionality in that case you can use fit type and this sort message and imagine you uh, you know uh, fix the code you know you made some fixes to the code let's say you you know changed the spelling or let's say you fix the spelling in readme file you can then you can use this fix and there are, there could be other example okay and chore is used for a uh, known application code so let's say let's say we have a uh, package dot json file so this file is not part of application code for that we can use the uh, chore type all right uh, so what i did i you know categorize these uh, conventional commit message into four category if you open any book or search for these uh, category you might not find them so i created this category to simplify things so very first category is feature and bugs if you add new feature for that you can use type and if you you know uh, resolve any bug uh, you can use this bug type and second is maintenance and improvement maintenance and improvement used to you know make or we can say organize code better for example we have this perf type let's say we made some changes and that change end up uh, increasing performance of the application in that case we can use perf uh, type now let's say uh, you changed the indentation in the project or we can say formatting in the project in that case we can use this style type and the refactor is used uh, whenever you made changes to the code but those changes are not going to change the functionality for example if we have a function let's say uh, get user info so this function is uh, you know getting user information let's say you changed uh, the name of this function but the functionality is still same in that case we can use this refactor type and we already talked about chore chore is used for known application code uh, the next category is the documentation and configuration let's say uh, in the project we have some markdown file 
uh, and you made some changes to the markdown file okay uh, in that case you can use this doc type and let's say uh, we are using you know yaml file in the project uh, if we change those configuration file we can use this ci type now let's move to the final type which is uh, testing and version control as name suggests if we add some test to the project in that case you can use this test type and if we made some changes regarding version control in that case we can use this revert type for example let me give you one simple example okay we know that if we have some branch okay so we have a history of this branch this is main branch and these are the commits let's say m1 m2 m3 and we made it uh, we made another branch this is feature branch and we have history of commit message f1 f2 f3 so this f3 commit is a very new commit and what we want we want to go back in history in that case uh, we can use this revert message so in the revert message we can specify that we are moving to previous version so uh, for version controlling we use this uh, revert type all right so so far we have discussed uh, the type of commit message and its header few examples and different categories now we'll see how we can use this uh, in a project whatever i discussed so far make no sense if i don't show you that practically so now we'll see uh, with the help of one example that how we can enable uh, conventional commit messages so here i'm taking an example of my own website so this is uh, the repository for my portfolio website and you can see how this website look like uh, right now uh, in this website there is no conventional commit i'm just you know uh, adding commit message whatever i like but what i would uh, like to do is to enforce the conventional commit so that uh, whoever contribute to this project follow a specific rule all right so in order to enable that we need two packages very first package is commit lint this package is going to help us to define those conventional commit messages rules all right uh, and the second package uh, this package is quite famous which is husky husky is used to manage git hooks we we'll talk about that in a moment all right so uh, so what i did i cloned this repository so i have uh, this project folder in my computer all right so uh, now what i would like to do is to follow some simple step to enable these two rules so i uh, created this sequence of step first what we are going to do we are going to install these two packages very first one is uh, this package this package is going to uh, help us uh, enable those uh, conventional commit rule so we talked in previous segment that uh, this is how the conventional commit should look like it has uh, these three header but we can avoid this uh, scope which is optional header all right so uh, first we are going to install this uh, second uh, we also need to install uh, this uh, uh, this package this package is going to help us execute all these rules inside uh, command line all right so first let's just copy this command let's just uh, paste it inside our project but first i would like to uh, create one branch dedicated to uh, the conventional commit messages so let's navigate to a new branch let's call it a uh, con commit messages right now uh, okay so now we are in this branch and here first we are like to install these packages and let's also install husky these packages are installed so let me check real quick if everything is working fine as you as you can see uh, inside package.json file uh, these tools are added all right uh, our next step is to uh, create a configuration file so that we can define all those rules of conventional commit so i'm going to create this file and i will uh, paste this code inside that file so uh, because this is a typescript project so i'm going to create a file ending with a uh, .ts extension if you are using javascript then you can use .js extension so let's create a file called uh, commit.config.ts actually it should be a uh, commit lint all right uh, we can paste this code here and here we are adding this package this fa this package is going to enforce those conventional commit rules and obviously we can override those rules so uh, in previous segment uh, let me show you so in previous segment i discussed these 10 basic types so let's just override uh, that and let's just add them inside our configuration file all right so uh, everything is done regarding commit lint and the ne next step would be uh, just wait a second next step would be uh, activating husky so let's activate husky uh, husky is going to uh, run that pre commit uh, 
hook all right so let's just activate husky once this command is completed okay actually it should be npx once this command is completed uh, you'll see in right side so this husky uh, folder is created and inside this uh, husky folder we can create one more file which is uh, commit message and inside this file what we are going to do uh, so this command is going to create this file and we'll add this stuff so we have manually created that file so let's just add this last piece of code okay so we can just copy and paste that code inside commit message file all right so this file uh, telling uh, the husky that you need to run the commit lint package okay so let's just check this out okay so right now uh, i have uh, these three changes i made these three changes and none of these is application code okay so uh, let's add the changes and let's uh, first try to add a simple commit message and let's see if it is going to work so what we did uh, we uh, added commit lint and husky when i uh, try to run this commit message i'm likely to get an error because i'm not using the conventional commit because a conventional commit message should look like this we just discussed here it should look like this uh, okay so as you can see i'm getting error so i need to use conventional commit so let's use that so now i'm going to use the type so its format is like this first we have type then this optional header scope and colon space and then summary so this is the format of a conventional uh, commit so let's use type chore because uh, we uh, haven't made change to any application file and in scope let's just add a uh, commit lint so we added commit lint and husky all right and in summary we can just say uh, enabled commit lint with husky let me just uh, run this command now this command should work because uh, everything is according to the rule of conventional commit as you can see these uh, changes are made to this file okay so this was simple process what we did we just you know used commit lint to enable the conventional commits and then what we did we used husky we know that husky is used to manage git hooks so uh, what we did we were checking for pre commit once we got pre commit we were running that commit lint cli package okay so this was the whole process but you know what uh, what i can do i can automate this whole process by using github action so what github actions are GitHub actions are used for continuous integration and continuous delivery. But this, uh, you know, this video is not about GitHub actions. So uh, I can give you like a overview of what it is. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this code and inside my project folder, I'm going to create a one more folder. Uh, so inside my project folder, I will create one more folder called GitHub. And inside this folder, I will create a folder named uh, work flows inside workflow i can create a workflow to automate this process of uh, you know enabling uh, conventional commit so let me create one more file which is uh, commit lint dot yaml and inside this file i can just paste this code and remember in previous segment we talked about this whole yaml file so if i made something related to uh, ci cd something related to github actions then i'm going to use this ci type so uh, first uh, we are going to add those changes let's just check the status okay this file is added then we can use the conventional commit and this time in position of type i'm going to use ci because i made changes to a workflow and then i can just uh, add summary and i can avoid scope that's not important enabled uh, automation of uh, conventional maybe my spelling is wrong conventional commit now uh, the only step that is left is to push the changes to uh, the github repository push the changes i can use this command git push origin head when i run this command a pull request will be created on my github repository so let's see 
as you can see a pull request is created okay so first let's just navigate to that branch before merging anything so first we are going to navigate to that branch there it is and in the actions as you can see this action we have created is running what that mean is uh, whoever make changes to my project first it is going to check for conventional commit if uh, it follows the rule of conventional commit in that case uh, he can make a pull request successfully so let's just uh, you know merge these ch changes to main branch you can create a pull request now uh, github is uh, checking if there is any conflict in our code here as you can see two uh, two workflow as are running after this is completed we can just merge this to the main branch there we go so if you go to main branch you will see uh, the changes are made to main branch and after completion of this versal uh, deploying and as you can see this uh, commit uh, this commit lint yaml file we created this workflow is running and we can see the whole detail of this workflow like these are the steps that been completed after completion of this versal deploying our, uh, our all the changes uh, will be available in the current version of our website all right as you can see now uh, this is successful okay so now let's check if our website is running fine <laughs> There you go, our website is running perfectly fine. Alright, so this was the whole process of uh, adding custom uh, commit messages. If you like this video, you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel.